Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to discuss and walk you through how our reseller hosting works and how you can use our reseller hosting to either start your own business, web hosting, or to add to your current business. We see a lot of our um, reseller hosting customers are already web developers and they're looking to add a hosting infrastructure that their clients can use and depend on and um, that will be there and, and uses the technology that we use here at Name Hero. Now we're, na we're known at Name Hero for having high speed cloud web hosting. So the same thing that we offer our customers, we also offer through our reselling program. So at the top of our website, if you click on resale hosting, reseller hosting, you can see all the features we have. Now, I'm, I developed our reseller hosting behind being very feature rich. There's nothing worse than getting a hosting account, especially a reseller account, and then having to buy a bunch of add-ons. Um, for example, one of our biggest um, sellers is our WHMCS license that comes with our corporate reseller package. So when you buy this hosting package, you have your license to WHMCS. Now, if you're not familiar with WHMCS, MCS. It's the most popular billing and automation software in the web hosting industry. It basically allows you to set it up, install it on your website, and then it can manage and set up all your customers for you. So let's say you're a web developer. You can order this package with us. You can install WHMCS, and then your, your current clients can sign up for a hosting package, or if they already have one, you can import them, and then they can manage everything from there. It handles all the billing. It handles um, when they don't pay, it will automatically suspend their account. Once they do pay, it will automatically um, create their account, and it manages everything for you, and it does a great job at it. So that's uh, and one of our, our top selling features. Now, outside of that, each one of these packages also comes with with a free domain if paid longer than yearly, yearly or longer rather. If you sign up monthly, unfortunately, we don't have the free domain. So you're going to get the free domain, and then with the corporate plan, you do to get the WHMCS license. Now, we do offer WHMCS for both our startup and our entrepreneur plans, um, but it, it is an additional cost. And it's not as expensive as going directly to WHMCS.com. So we do absorb some of the costs for you, um, but it's not free as it is with the corporate reseller. Now, another big selling point that we've implemented over the last year, and that's Let's Encrypt. That's free HTTPS. So it's free security certificates for all of your websites, for all your customers' websites and their subdomains. Each night at midnight, Let's Encrypt runs across the server and it makes sure that every domain and every subdomain has a secure certificate. Now, of course, if you need it set up before midnight, if you're a brand new customer, then our support team can automatically provision that in just a couple of minutes, just submit a ticket. So you get the WHMCS license, you get the high-speed hosting, a free domain, and the Let's Encrypt. Those are some of our most popular reseller features. Now, outside of that, we also um, give you a free domain reseller account. So if you want to sell domain names to your customers, and make, you can mark them up or you can even include them with your hosting, um, you can do that, and it integrates directly with WHMCS. Um, we also have Cloudflare. If you're not familiar with Cloudflare, you can go to cloudflare.com and read about it, but you can offer this to your customers right inside of cPanel. So they don't have to go to Cloudflare and sign up and, and set up their account that way. They just log into their cPanel from your interface and then they can set up Cloudflare with Railgun. If you're not familiar with the Cloudflare Railgun, that comes with their business package. So that's And that's $200 a month. So that's a tremendous saving and a tremendous upsell that you can either you can sell it to your customers or you can offer it to them for free. With your name here, a reseller account, it comes free. Um, we also do nightly backups um, featuring CP Remote. So if you're not familiar with that, it's software that backs up your website every night and once a week, and those files are held inside of cPanel. So if you need to restore from a backup, let's say you're working on a file and you, you make a mistake and you're not sure where the mistake is and you just want to restore it, well, you can log into your cPanel and you can do it, you can do it everything from right there. And you can restore the whole website. You could restore one file. You could restore an email account. You could restore in one database. It just depends on whatever you need. And if you need to restore the whole thing, that's that's very simple as well. So your customers will love that. They'll love knowing that their website's backed up. They're, and you can upsell for that, or you can just include it into your packages. Of course, it is included um, with all of our reseller accounts here at Name Hero. Finally, we don't limit you on the number of domains or clients that you can host. The only thing we limit you on is your storage and your bandwidth. So you can see our corporate reseller comes with 100 gigabytes of storage and 2,000 gigabytes of bandwidth. Um, you're not going to, I highly doubt you're going to reach those two early on. Um, when you do, you can upgrade to another, or you can purchase another package. You can't go any higher than corporate. So if you get 
close to it, then you could buy another corporate reseller package and, and we work with you that way on how to implement it into your system. Um, finally, we have private name servers, meaning no one will ever see Name Hero. We'll never see our Name Hero logo. Everything is 100% white labeled and you can brand it to fit your needs. Of course, every reseller account does come with Web Host Manager, which allows you to manage and set up everything. So I'm going to walk you through how, how this works and, and um, how our corporate reseller account, um, how you set that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, how long I'm going to sign up for. Now, you're going to get the best value if you sign up for three years, and plus you're going to get that free domain. Now, if you want to try us out, you can try us out at the monthly rate, um, but I can't promise that these same prices are going to be available if you want to upgrade later on. Um, and of course, you know, if... Um, you want to move to a managed server later on, we'll apply your balance, but you're definitely going to save more um, signing up for three years uh, versus the monthly package. So that's what I'm going to select. Okay, so I've already got my domain, so I'm going to use it. Now, if you want to, you can. it comes with a free domain, so you could register your name here, or you could transfer your name, or you can use your existing name. Now, this domain is very important for your reseller account because this is what your private name servers are going to be at. This is what name servers you're going to give your customers. So if you don't have a domain that that's, um, you know, kind of fits that, you probably want to register a new one because um, this is what your clients are going to be seeing. So you want to you want to make it something that, you know, relates back to your agency. So for my example, I'm going to use resellhero.com. So I'm going to type it in here and then I'm going to put the .com here. We'll make that lowercase. And this is already in my Name Hero account, so I'm going to update it myself. You can see I selected the three year package. And now you can see for WHMCS, you will just select here. It's 100% free. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. That's why we give you the option because we don't want to just give it to everyone, assuming everyone needs it, um, because not everyone does. So if you already have a copy of WHMCS license, then that's fine. You don't have to purchase it or you don't have to get the free one with us. Um, but just make sure that you only have one. You, it wouldn't make sense to have two. So if um, you don't want this or don't need it, just don't select it. Okay, now you can see we are at our shopping cart. Um, we are running our special here. So you can see for the three-year package, I'm saving $360 right now. Now our, our specials, they come and go. So uh, depending on when you register and sign up your account, it could be a little bit different, but that's what it is now. So I'm going to go ahead and complete my checkout, and then I'll resume this video as soon as I do so. Once you complete your payment, you're going to be brought to our order confirmation screen with your order number, and you can continue on to the client area. So now that you're in our client area, this is where you can manage your account completely. If you need tickets or search our knowledge base or manage your domains, everything's done in here. But there's a couple things that you need to do to get your um, reseller um, hosting account set up and active. So you can see if I click Cloud Web Hosting, I've got a couple of different packages here in my account. So I want to select my corporate reseller, which is resellhero.com. Um, so the most important thing is we have to set up our name servers. And so you can see right here, um, ns1.resellhero.com and ns2.resellhero.com. Those are my name servers. And that's why I said um, in the previous steps, that it's very important to choose a domain that makes sense to my customers because this is what all your customers are going to be entering to connect their domain to your web hosting. So what we're going to do is we have to register these. We have to register these name servers with these IP addresses. Now, if your domain's hosted with us, then you just follow the steps I'm about to show you. If you're using GoDaddy or another domain registrar, then you have to work with them to get these registered. Um, in my experience, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So we can you can transfer your domain to us, and we'll do it for you. Um, or you can try to work with their support or read their docs, but like I said, it's kind of a pain in the butt, especially GoDaddy. I don't know why they make it so difficult, but they, they do. So I'll click domains and, and my domains, and you'll see resellhero.com is right here. So I'm going to click it, and I can go over here to private name servers, and now I can register them right here. So I go back here, and I'm going to grab this IP address and copy it. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to enter NS1 and then the IP address and click save. And you can see it was registered. Now I'm going to click this IP address, copy it, and go back over here, NS2, and save it. And that's all there is to it. It's, it is that we make it that simple because we realize how complicated everyone else makes it. So we try to make it very, very easy. So after you do that, you can click name servers here on, on, the, on your right, and you can change this to your own now. So now it's private. So resellhero.com, and then we can, whoops, and we can add the two right here. 
and we can change name servers. Okay, so that's that's the the biggest step to setting up your reseller account is registering those name servers and then setting up at your domain registrar. If your name is managed with us here at Name Hero, then everything is very simple and easy. If it's managed somewhere else, then again, that's sometimes a pain in the butt. If you paid greater than yearly though, you get a free domain. So it only makes sense to either register a new domain with us or to transfer your domain over. Um, so you have it and it just makes it that simple. So your reseller account is good to go. Now, WHMCS that came with the corporate package. So I'm going to show you how that works. You can click on add ons and you can see here's your license key. Um, it's right here and this is um, what you will use when you install it. So you can click on downloads and this is where you can actually download the WHMCS files if you need to. You can click there and it'll download to your desktop and then you can upload them. But I'm going to show you the easy way right now to install this. So the first thing you want to do is you do want to copy this and we'll also email this to you, but it's, it's always in your panel if you need it. But what we'll do is we're going to go back into here, and we are going to click, click on Resale Hero, and we want to go into cPanel. So in here, you've got two options. You've got cPanel or Web Host Manager. Now you could go into just Web Host Manager, click List Accounts, and you can see these are all the domains that you control. So since Resale Hero is our main name, that's the only name we control right now. But as we add customers, they'll start to appear in here. So we can access cPanel by clicking on the cPanel logo right here, or we can access the cPanel for Resale Hero by going right here above Web Post Manager. So it's either way, um, both of them work, and there's no wrong or right, right way to go about it. Okay, so as soon as we get into cPanel, you can see there's a little tutorial. You can skip it. You want to scroll down here to the apps installer. And so this is how we're going to install WHMCS. So you can you can look through it through here if you um, want to, and it's right here, and click on it. And WHMCS, I like using the auto installer because if you have to download the files and upload them, that takes a little bit. And this is a much quicker way to do it. So all I'll do is click install now, and now I can start setting this up um, rather quickly. So the first thing is I need to choose my protocol. Now, since I, I just signed up, it might take a, a little bit longer for my uh, secure certificate to be active. So on my initial setup, I'll just use www. I can always go back and change this later once my secure certificate is um, ready. So you can always ask our support team to get that ready before you do this, or you can, um, you can go back and change it later. It's really up to you. There's no preference on that. The next is where, what directory that you want to install WHMCS in. Now, I don't recommend using WHMCS. You want to white label it. So I, I recommend using clients or billing or something like that to put it in that folder because um, that's, that's what your clients are going to go to or your customers are going to go to to begin managing their domain or their web hosting account with you. Now, you could delete this altogether, and it will just be on your root domain. So let's, let's do that for our example. So if you go to resellhero.com, you're going to get our WHMCS installation. Um, what a lot of resellers do is they'll have their website on one domain with all their sales information and the services they offer. Then they'll have WHMCS either on a subdomain, a different domain, or in a subfolder. So maybe Resell Hero would be our domain that we just have our billing software on. Next to the data directory, this can be anything you want to call it. It's going to create it automatically. You can just leave that default. Uh, the cron job, this is, um, this is um, when, it's going to, when the cron is going to work every night, and it's going to tell to um, bill customers when they need to be billed, and it's going to say to suspend customers when they need to be suspended. Just leave it default. You don't need to mess with it. Next, we can enter our company name and our email. So this is where you would enter, enter your information. So for here, I can enter Resale Hero. Um, the admin folder, do not call it admin. Please don't call it admin. Change it to something that is a little bit hard to guess and make sure you write it down. Um, because basically what attackers will do is they'll look for WHMCS sites and when they find one, they'll go to admin and they'll start typing in every username so they can find it. So I like to change that. So we're just going to ch change it to Resale Hero 1. And I can use this as my billing. And now we have room to enter that license key that I showed. So I'll go back to this window. And this is your license key. It starts with um, least. And then we'll go back into here. And we can enter it in here. 
You'll have to do that so they know that you've paid for it. And again, it comes with our hosting here at Name Hero. Next is your admin information. This is, again, this is very important that it's strong. So um, don't do admin and pass. I don't even know why they default that because it's a really bad idea. So I'm just going to call it Web Hero 1, and then I'm going to enter a um, – or come up with a strong password here using this and just make sure you copy and paste that to a notepad document or you save this in your password manager so you don't forget it later on. You probably want to enter your admin email uh, to make sure it's valid so if you do get locked out that you can get back in. Now we can go down here and the default admin language is going to be English for me. The site language is going to be English as well. Now you can change this if you speak another language. WHMCS has multiple languages available. Um, so you can select that if that does um, pertain to you. Now under advanced options, there's some um, advanced stuff such as auto upgrade and uh, disable notifications and the database name. I don't recommend changing those, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Now, finally, you can email these installation details. You can email them to yourself, or you can email them to your webmaster or your CTO or another person in your company. Um, this is going to give the um, information of what we just set up. I'm going to click Install. And again, if I was to download those files and then upload them in FTP, I would probably be sitting for about 45 minutes. Um, you can see in, in that one breath and two minutes, I've installed it and it's ready to go. So if your account is new with this name hero, resale hero, your domain or whatnot, might not um, resolve right off the bat. Now mine is, so I got lucky. Um, but you can see resellhero.com has my WHMCS installation and it's ready to go. Um, the only thing that I need to do is I need to log in to my admin area and start customizing it. So you can see that we give you your administrative URL from right here and you can log in using the um, your credentials that you created. So mine was webhero1 and then I copied my password so I can log in. And this is our dashboard for WHMCS, and they've got a very nice tutorial. So if you've never used WHMCS, I recommend going through this and, um, and letting the setup wizard kind of configure your site for you. You can see it makes it very, very simple. You can choose your company name. You can upload your logo, and that replaces the WHMCS. So that's a, a great way to white label so your customers don't know. Um, you, you can enter your email address, and you can put your physical address to the invoices, um, the country that you're located in, and, your, and then your um, language. Um, you can set up your payment gateways right here. So if some of you may ch accept check. And, um, if you have a credit card account, you can set up with the applications right here. Or if you have a PayPal account, you can just enter it right here. So these are all great options. And again, it's all done in this wizard for you. Now, of course, it's wanting me to enter information. I'm not going to. So we're going to click next. Now you can see your domains. It sets up um, Enom. Your hosting account comes with a free Enom account, so you can click here to enable that and to move forward. Um, or you can email in and we'll give you those details um, to set you up. So you can do that right here. Um, I'm not going to again because I'm going to keep on going. Now, of course, um, web hosting. This is the control panel that you're going to configure your customers on. So all of this information is going to come from us. So what you will do is you will go into our client area and you will get all of this from us. So your server name, your name servers are here, and then your username and password are what um, we sent you in your signup email. And that's how you're going to connect it. So as your host name, you would just copy and paste this information. You would copy luke.uswebhost. We would enter our username and our password. Um, and then we would enter our, um, what, we, what we're going to call this. And you could just call this Luke. Um, our primary IP address, we're going to get that from right here, right here. So our primary IP. Now our primary name servers are going to be right here, so NS1 and NS2 that we registered and set up earlier, NS1 and NS2. Now let's see if I can't get the password here um, from my welcome email so I can set this up. So sure, let's see if this will work. I can't promise because I'm doing the video in real time here. So resale. Let's try the password. And this, all this is is your connection information that you got in your email. And you can see that works. So we can click Next and Finish, and you're all set. So now customers can come to your site and they can they can start signing up and setting up their hosting. Now, obviously, you still need to go into set up products and services and then set them up in here. You'll need to set up how much you're charging for web hosting. 
um, you can charge as much as you want. You can charge $20 a month, $5 a month, $2 a month, whatever makes the most sense. You, you're going to be working against your resources that you've purchased from us at Name Hero. So we allow you to oversell your resources too, meaning that you can offer unlimited hosting. Um, but once you do reach your actual resource limits, then you have to um, buy another package, which is fine. You can set up WHMCS to provision to many different packages as well. But that's how it's done, and that's how simple and easy it is at Name Hero to get set up with your um, web hosting business. We did this uh, video under 30 minute tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Other than that, we look forward to working with all you resellers in 2017. We look forward to being um, the best reseller web host out there. And we strive every day for hundred percent customer satisfaction. So if you're not satisfied, feel free to reach out and let us know and we'll do something to make it right. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.